Hey everyone, welcome to Lovely Lavender Wishes. Um, it's Renee, I hope you're having a very blessed day. I just finished it. And y'all, I have to apologize because I didn't really take you along much on this one. Um, I was just crafting, like I was busy with my auction and then I was kind of crafting every time I had a chance and it could be, you know, like five minutes here, five minutes there. And I really never turned on the camera. So I'll just have to show you what I did through this flip through. But y'all, I don't know if it was because it's purple or what, but I just kind of flew through this one and I had so much fun. So it's three signatures, you can see here, three signatures. It's got all of this gorgeous, just, oh, this the feel of this whole thing I just love. Um, I kept the cover pretty simple. I've had a few people say that they wanted simple covers, so I kept the cover pretty simple. But I just, I had to have chain, y'all. Had to have chain. I have um, book cover, uh, book corners on these, on these two corners as well as the back two corners. This material, y'all, it is just, oh, I just love it. It's got this like velvety, I don't know if you can hear that, <laughs> velvety feel to it. It's got like raised velvet on it. Um, this is a stretchy band, um, black lace, black, I guess, lace or ribbon. Um, it's stretchy, but it is attached. Um, it's got this purple and black lace flower. The whole thing's purple and black. Um, and then here's the back. And with when you take this band off, it's just got this um, gorgeous, you know, feeling back. I just love it. So we'll take this off. Um, at the bottom, we've got some lace sticking out as well as um, in between each signature, we have these um, little beads sticking out as well. So we'll open this up. So this is attached to the book on the spine here. So it's attached here, so it will stay on, um, but it'll it, that's what closes the book. Here's the cover, the full cover. Just It's just plain, this metal embellishment with the chain and the corner pieces. Okay, when you open it up, the whole thing, it's kind of gothic-y. Um, I'm trying to get in the Halloween spirit, but I'm, I'm not into like all the like ghoul and gore stuff. But I do like, you know, some of it, some of the gothic look. So here in the front, we have a bat embellishment. It's a metal embellishment. Um, with a little cluster, a sticker that says my personal diary, and then you can put your name here. There's a pocket right here. Inside the pocket is a journal card. It says beware for I'm fearless and therefore powerful. On the back it's just journaling, journaling card. So here's the pocket with the spider webs and the spider, and of course purple lace throughout, purple and black lace throughout the whole book. Um, again, um, I showed this um, when I was showing you how I was putting this book together. Got this, um, it's like a mesh, but it's kind of, re it's really, really light. So it, feel, it kind of feels cobwebby and it kind of looks cobwebby. So that's kind of why I put it in there. Um, but again, a different kind of texture for the book. And then in here, this y'all, I got perfume. I just recently got a box of perfume and it had this, you can hear it. It's raised um, metallic, all these different kind of color purples and it shimmer and shines. Um, so this was the box. So I used this throughout. It was really cool. I got a lot of use out of my perfume box. Um, but yeah, I love this. It was the perfect purple, the perfect, you know, again, the texture, I love it. Um, so here's a little tuck spot here with this rose in the background. Um, got this girl on the front. Got the gorgeous um, purple, uh, what is this, eyelash trim. And then you got a journal card on the back. And with a tag that says X. I don't know why X, just X because she's extraordinary, you know. Um, I just, I liked the X. The X kind of seemed mysterious to me. Got um, some black ribbon and lace along the side. Um, another journal page, find beauty in everything. And like I said, I did not tea dye or coffee dye any of these papers. I just um, used ink for the edges. Here we have a pocket. See that? Big pocket here. 
Again, here is where I used some more of that uh, perfume uh, box. Got a little journal card here. On the back we've got um, gold and black stenciled uh, tissue paper, purple tissue paper. So, and this was sewn, so you have a journal card on the back. So in this big pocket here, you can put whatever you want in there. This, whoops, this, yep, flips over here to another just stenciled page, gold stenciled. And I don't know if you can see the shimmer and shine of that, but it does shimmer and shine in real life. It's a uh, gold metallic ink. So it shines. Got this little journal card here. This flips over. You can journal here into a little pocket with another little journal card. And then here you can put pictures or what have you on here, as well as this side. Again, the gold metallic uh, stenciling. This is tissue paper that was stenciled with black and the gold. So you, again, you can kind of see the shimmery. It's getting late here, so I don't know if you can see it in the light, but you got a different texture here. So this is that thin tissue paper, which I love. And again, you got more stenciling on this side. This was that made paper that I showed you how to uh, ink up. We just inked with purple and black and some, some of the gold. Again, you can see it shimmer and shine. Gotta have the bling. Uh, purple rose with, uh, what is this? Um, barbed wire around it, you know, to make it kind of dangerous. <laughs> this page flips open, so you have all this journaling space. So you have journal, journal, journal space here. Um, here we have a double tuck spot. So we've got a tuck spot here with a little journal card. Spider web. And then back here we have another journal card that says, I myself am strange and unusual. Picture of a skull with a purple rose with some lace. And then on the back, you've got room to journal or put a picture on the back. So collaged back. And that goes in this back tuck spot. And then we've got purple lace throughout. We've got purple lace, purple and black lace throughout. If you can see the whole side, I love this feel, y'all. It just feels like a petticoat, you know, dress, you know, sticking out of the book. Okay, on this page, journal with a little ephemera piece. Here we have um, a collaged uh, piece right here. It says, baby, it's a dark but beautiful world. This flips open into an envelope. It says, today is a perfect day to start living your dreams. And it's just a journal card that you can journal on. Or you can put whatever you want in the envelope. And then back here, you can see, again, the shimmer and shine. <laughs> got to have that. Um, got some gold and black washi tape down here. I love this paper, so I wanted to leave it so you could put a picture here or whatever you want. And then back here, you have a pocket. It says, I will not let you go into the unknown alone. Um, it's a picture of a cross with purple embellishments on it. We've got a purple bling, a brad here at the top. And then you've got a journal card on the back. And that just tucks back here into this little pocket here. And this flips back here. And this flips over. Um, got a uh, dyed doily, little half of a doily here. Got this fun, fun mesh. Um, it's gold, of course, shimmery. It's blingy, got the little gold there. Y'all, this is um, from a piece that I bought at the uh, thrift store, 50 Cent Day. I think it was a pair of pants. And again, it's got this um, raised velvet black on it. Oh, I just, I just again, love the feel. I'm so into the touchy stuff. So um, have a little tab there, uh, stenciling and sewing around. And then here's the first signature, middle signature. And then you've got these, let's see if we can, got these glass beads, purple and black. And then this is like a silver and black bead um, hanging out. Here I left blank so you can put pictures or like whatever you want in here. I loved this paper, so I had to use it. Um, I got this set, I think from Michael's, um, this uh, paper set. More journaling spots and then more of that mesh. Here we have a little pocket, and then we've got those envelopes that I showed you how to make with tissue paper. So again, listen to that, y'all. I, I just, I love the, the sound of it. Um, so it folds out, and then this was that paper that we inked up. Um, 
with the purple and black ink, the gold, and then we stenciled it. So I showed you how to make these. So if you wanna know how to make these, check out my pre, uh, I think it was a couple of videos ago on this. I think it was called, Are You Ready for Halloween? So check out for that. And then on the back, you can journal as well or put pictures or just leave blank, but it's stenciled up with the black and gold. So this just folds in, it's kind of like a faux envelope and it's got some bling here. And that just tucks into this pocket here. And I just left the little tab part hanging out like that. And then here we have another page that you can put pictures on or whatever. It's got the shimmer and shines, that's gold embossed um, paper. And then I did these little, uh, little clusters again for the texture so you've got a corduroy piece back here you've got a purple lace here then you've got more of the cover part material it's that purple and black with the raised velvet and then you've got some of the eyelash trim and it's all sewn on here but it's, it's got this really soft cool texture feel and then here um you've got this purple I don't know if you can see that um, purple, gorgeous, gorgeous lace. And then this is a fabric flip or a lace flip. So you can put whatever you want under there. Again, more purple lace. This page was, I just love this paper, so I left it blank so you can do whatever you want with it. More of that paper, so for journaling, both sides. Then more tissue paper, journaling. Again, love this paper, I left it. And then here, we've got a little flip. So you can write on here, flip this, and then you have a little pocket with a little journal card here. Again, another one of those little fabric uh, clusters. We have things sticking out a little, you know, gotta have things sticking out of the book. Okay, we are here we have a double belly band. So in the middle, we've got this embossed eye. If you can see it, it's embossed. I also used some more of that uh, perfume uh, box. Again, love that purple. So the first tuck, you've got this tuck here. We've got um, a little card here, a little journal card that says dark poetry soothes the soul. So that tucks into the first belly band. Then you got this bigger belly band in the back and into a bigger journal card. This says dangerous thoughts with some more of the um, stenciled uh, tissue paper, purple tissue paper on the back. Again, y'all, I don't know if it's because it was a, if it's, it's a purple or what, but I just had such a blast with this. This is not my normal or usual type of uh, journal, I guess. So maybe that's why I had so much fun with this as well. It was just out of my you know, norm. So here's a journal page, um, black lace and ribbon here. And then you've got this, it's a embossed paper, so it looks like it's all like jagged and it's raised, but there's also pieces cut out of it. So you can kind of see through it. And then that goes into this journal card here. And just inked on the back so you can journal on it. And that tucks here into this little pocket. And then you have that mesh. So that's the first signature. Then we go into the second signature. So we go into this skull and roses. Again, we have a lot of skulls and roses. Um, purple lace into a journal spot. It says it's better to be hated for who you are than to be loved for who you're not. And some more of that mesh, more paper for journaling. Here we have a lace belly band. And this is some paper, so Here's the outside. So I hand dyed some vellum paper. You can hear that. I love that sound as well. I love that crunchy sound. So this is vellum paper that I dyed. You can see that and you can see it like when you hold it up to the light. I don't know if you can see the light shining through, but it's kind of like translucent. So you have areas that you can write on the side or on the inside. So this is just another little Kind of envelope or you know paper for you to write on and that tucks right here into this lace belly band this folds over into a little pocket or a little you know little side tuck and then here's another one of those envelope pages that i showed you how to make with dark purple tissue paper so it's tissue paper and paper um, 
So I showed you how to make those. That goes right here. Here's some more of that vellum that I hand dyed. So you can it's see through. You can see through it right there onto the paper. And then you have this little uh, tag it says shadows rise unseen and voices whisper in the trees. And then some more of that um, box uh, that I had. And then you just have a stenciled journal card on the back and that tucks into this little pocket right here. And you can see the side has been punched with uh, an edger, paper edger. And so on this side, you have more journaling space with another rose. And then y'all, this is, okay, so this is another tab with that velvet. This is a ribbon that again, it's got like this textured, uh, kind of like, you know, crunched up feel but it's a ribbon, so it's a pocket. You can put something in here. I left it blank or empty for you. Uh, but oh, y'all, it's got this really cool feel to it. This one I've had, this one has a lot of texture in it. Um, this says, he who dares lives faster. And then you got this little, uh, again, this is a velvet uh, uh, flower with lace behind it and then some furry, uh, it's kind of like thread, furry thread. Um, for the centerpiece. So again, that, different textures. And then, yeah, this tucks, there's a little pocket here. Again, into this furry, it's really super soft. It's like kind of like cashmere, y'all. I don't even know. It's just really soft. This is a little booklet um, with some more of that um, tissue paper. So this is the back, that's the front, and that just tucks right in here. And then this flips over for some more journaling spaces. Um, some more black ribbon or lace along the side, ribbon and lace. And then I loved this paper, y'all, too. So here's the center of this second signature. Again, we've got more glass beads, a little bit different types right here. Again, purple and black and silver. And then here we have a little, um, little uh, bow into this really cute little um, paper clip. And then a mini, you know, faux envelope, again, with the tissue paper. And then this just attaches here, attaches to the top of the page. So again, I left this empty so you can do whatever you want with in the middle. Um, more lace and ribbon. Another one of those uh, fabric clusters. Again, y'all, I just love feeling like, <laughs> you're all going to be like, she's crazy. But it's so fun to touch. Um, just a little ephemera piece. Here's a little pocket here. I love this paper. It's got these like little cute little, if you can see little cute little flowers, little pink and purple. Love, love, love. And then, oh, all my things are getting stuck underneath. Um, you've got purple roses on here. So I kind of went with that theme and you know, a little bit dark, little dark, not too dark, but a little dark. Another one of those little booklets. So here's the back and that just tucks right here so you have more places to journal here's another one of the other half of the dyed um, doily and then on this side you have another collage piece find beauty where others do not this is again a flip open into a card it says explore the unimaginable with more of that tissue paper sit in the silence and this is uh you know journaling card that was stenciled and then back here again you have another pocket so here's some more of that washi tape with the gold on it then you've got this pocket with the the bling the purple bling um, purple ribbon uh, a picture and then on the back just journaling card as well and that just tucks back here And then got another, the other half of the uh, cut out piece of paper. Here's the more of that um, dyed vellum. Here's another tag. It says, here in the forest, I offer you eternal sleep. Kind of scary, woo. <laughs> um, you had to get into the Halloween mood. And then here's some more of that, uh, that box. I used it a lot through this. I mean, that box went a long way and I still have pieces left over from it. So I'm gonna have to do something with it. I might have to make some charms or something. So here's another journaling page. Here's another um, 
uh, belly band, lace belly band. I left it blank because I really like this picture back here, but you can put whatever you want in here. Um, here's another journaling paper page. Um, more of that mesh. Another journaling page with a little picture. More lace. And then here we have a pocket right here. A, a big side pocket. And then with a picture of a girl with more roses. And then here is more. Here's a little tuck spot. I left it blank so you can put whatever you want in there. Um, a little tab. And then on the back, journaling card. And that just fits right in this pocket here. And that's the end of the second signature. And then into the third signature, we've got another piece of that mesh. More of that same box. Another tag. This one's got Q on it for queen. Um, more of this, oh, it's just, it feels so, um, just so soft. It's that eyelash trim, this purple eyelash trim with a journal card, stencil journal card. Here's the picture behind it with, um, some ribbon and lace. It's a little tuck spot there. Journal with a uh, purple rose here. It says delight in the unknown. On this side now we have, this is some other different kind of thread that I had. It's kind of like eyelash, I guess it's a different kind, um, but again, super soft. So it's it's attached here with a paper clip. And this is just a journal card with a little tab here with some bling. And then on the back, stenciled, uh, stenciled um, journal card. And then here I left blank that you could put pictures or whatever you want there as well. And this just attaches right there. And you got journal space, more mesh. Here's another um, of that uh, trimmed paper journal, another tissue paper, and some more of that handmade paper or handmade ink paper. And then here we have another um, two tucks. So here's the first one with a little journal card here with a spider web paper back here. So spider web and spider web. And then back here we have another, here we got the purple roses. I love this paper as well. Man, this couple of these sets were just so gorgeous. Um, again, this was another set I think I got from Michael's. Um, this was like dark botanicals, I think it was called. Um, and then this paper, this little um, journal tag, it's got lace in the back. I sewed around. It says, be the strange you wish to see in the world. And then on the back, again, a little collaged area that you can journal or put pictures on. More purple lace, journal card, another one of those tabs. This is that paper with um, silver thread throughout. Here's another of those uh, you know, clusters. And again, I love this paper too, y'all. It's just, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can, like, look at that shimmer. It's just, it's gorgeous. So I had to leave it empty blank because to let you do whatever you wanted on it. Um, and as you can see, the book lies fairly flat. Um, I told you how I put this together, um, in a previous video and I'll show you that. Um, but it, it let, it does, you know, poof up, but if you take everything out, it'll lay totally flat. Here's another one of those, um, faux envelopes. I won't unfold it, but it's the same, same paper inside. Um, and again, it's got that really soft, uh, eyelash trim or thread that I had attached just with a paper clip and then here's another one of those clusters here's uh, another of those fabric flips with the purple or a lace flip I guess you would say with that purple ribbon at the top and purple lace at the side here's some more of that paper again I had to leave it blank it was just so pretty but dark botanicals I think it was called and then this is a flip out so you have more journaling space the tissue paper, love that sound. <laughs> and then more journaling space, more paper that you can put pictures on or attach whatever. Um, some of that uh, mesh, another journaling. I I tried a new, <laughs> a new um, sewing technique. Uh, had fun with that with purple thread. And then on this side, again, double belly band, same thing. You have the eye. If you can see, it's got um, embossed. It's been embossed, so it's got this shine to it. Um, on top of again the shimmery purple, and then first belly band. You've got this little journal card. It says like a black rose, her darkness was beautifully fatal. 
Ooh. <laughs> um, so you got this journal card here, and then behind the bigger um, belly band, you've got this one. It says, Some are born to sweet delight, some are born to endless night. And this was um, sewn around double, like a double, you can see on the back. Um, Sometimes my sewing machine does this, but I kind of like it. I, I left it because I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It gives like a cool effect. Um, so it's done that a few times throughout this and I left it because I kind of like it. I don't know, it kind of looks like like spider webs or, or just, I don't know, just that haphazard thing. That's part of the handmade thing, I guess, of the whole thing, which I like. And I, le I always leave the, the you know threads dangling because I like that look. But this is more of the tissue paper. So you got a journal card here, and that tucks back here. And this tucks right here, so it's like a double belly band right there. And then you got like a gate that's kind of keeping you in, or you know, you can go out into the world down there last page. I liked having the gate right there at the end. And then here's the lace and ribbon. And then it says, together in the realm of infinite night. And I love this paper as well, this purple. And then you got this mesh. And then you got this little um, little cluster piece here and another pocket, which I left empty. You can put some papers or whatever you want back here. And then there is the back of the book. Y'all, I just, I had so much fun with this one. I, and I, I, I know I say that with probably literally every journal, but every journal I do, it seems like, I'm just having more and more fun with it. So that's what it's all about is having fun. So this just ties together like this and it's stretchy material, stretchy ribbon, which I like. So you can tie it as tight or as loose as you want. Here's the cover and you all know I had to have chains. And then here is the side with all these. And so you can see how this is put together. Um, I showed you in a previous video how I was gonna glue this and I did that. And so you got the three signatures here. If you don't squish it together, that's how much it poops out the gator mouth. But it's it's really, it's a soft cup. It's like, well, it's hard cover, but I used chipboard for this and it's kind of like a rounded um, spine. Um, as I was working on it, the spine just kind of rounded out. So um, I just, I love the feel of this in my hands. This is, um, the size is perfect too, so. Anyways, there it is. So there's our first Halloween-y um, journal. The next one I'm gonna work on is going to be like a gothic love journal, and it's gonna be black and red. So we're gonna go a, a little bit different direction. Kind of a little the same, but a little different. Um, but yeah, I'm in this kind of mood right now, so <laughs> we're gonna just do this. But if any of you are interested in this, this little beauty is um, offered, but you know, whatever I don't, sell or give away I usually keep because I just love them but you know if someone wants to enjoy it it's available just contact me my email um, other than that um, I'm sorry y'all that I didn't really take you along to do show you how to do a lot but there really wasn't a lot of like new stuff to learn it was just really sewing lace on and you know putting ephemera pieces in and stuff like that so um, if I ever do something that's like kind of new like making those envelopes or something then I show you how to do it but if it's just you know cutting and gluing and just having fun with it I just you know kind of do that on my own but y'all can see what I did as you know through the through the uh, the flip through but anyways hope y'all enjoy it um, I will see you in the next video I don't know I might be doing some Bible journaling next too I got to take a little break um, do some Bible journaling. We are going to be getting into Proverbs next. So um, stay tuned for that. So I hope you all have a very blessed week and I'll see you in the next video. See you next time. Bye y'all.